Hello everyone, and welcome to Dynamics 365 Portals Tips from Engineered Code. My name is Nicholas Hayduk, and this is tip number 36, Entity Forms versus Web Forms. I'm often asked the difference between Entity Forms and Web Forms. Before I get into the differences, let's first look at the similarities. Both technologies are used to expose Dynamics 365 Forms to users, to allow them to view, edit, or create records. Both have a metadata feature that allows advanced configuration beyond the out-of-the-box Dynamics 365 form capabilities. The primary difference between the two is that web forms support multiple steps, as well as multiple entity types within a single web form. Web forms are traditionally used when a wizard-style interface is required. One of the original scenarios intended for web forms was as a survey tool. You can even have conditional step types which allow you to follow a different path based on the data input into a previous step. On the other hand, Entity Forms, which were introduced alongside Entity Lists, display on a single page. You can think of an Entity Form as a web form with just one step. In fact, both Web Forms and Entity Forms leverage the same underlying technology that allows for a Dynamics Form to be exposed on your portal. So, the short answer is, if you need multiple steps, you'll need to use a web form. If you need a single page, Entity Forms might be the simpler approach. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found the Dynamics 365 Portals tip number 36 from Engineered Code on Entity Forms versus Web Forms useful.